Jadavian Clowney uh, reportedly getting ready to come back into Cleveland Wednesday, uh, potentially to talk with Browns, meet with them. Let's say if, if the Browns do in fact sign Jadavian Clowney, do you think they look at cornerback at 26 or do you think nothing changes? What, what does that do to the mindset and what they do with that first round pick? You know, I, I still don't think that it precludes them from taking an edge rusher there at number 26. Because if you have Tack McKinley and Jadavian Clowney both on one year sort of prove it deals for next year, you still have to be planning ahead and thinking of who is going to nail down that spot for the foreseeable future. So if one of those really good edge rushers is still there at number 26, I think you'd still have to look at that there. Yes, of course, if they don't make another move before the draft, I think cornerback is another place to look uh, because even though they are counting on Greedy Williams to come back, you can't have too many good uh, starting cornerbacks. And so therefore, I think that's another spot. As we mentioned before, uh, you have to start planning ahead at receiver. So that is another area where you could look at, but they are not locked into anything. Uh, they have starters at every position and quality starters at every position right now. So I really do think that uh, they can let the draft fall to them and find the most dominant player that they can find at a premium position at number 26. Do you think there's a potential if they really like a, a cornerback, an edge rusher, a wide receiver, and, and somebody that is projected to go in you know, the top 15 falls to 18 or 19, something that wouldn't cost them other than that additional third-round pick or a, a sixth-round pick, a third and a sixth, do you think they could go up and, and potentially grab somebody who slides a little bit? Oh, sure. And I thought I think those conversations will take place leading up to the draft and on draft day. Uh, a lot of times what will happen is uh, you talk to the teams in the days leading up to the draft that are, you know, whatever, five, six spots ahead of you just to see if they might be up for something and you lay the groundwork for potential trades. You don't just all of a sudden on, on draft day have some light bulb go off over your head and you have no idea who might be interested in moving out of, out of a spot. Uh, Andrew Berry will do all that legwork beforehand. He'll know exactly uh, who might want to move back a little bit, who might want to move up a little bit, and they will have some things sort of ready to go in the event that one of their guys does fall to them or looks like he might still be, be available at 27 or 28 or whatever. Uh, so yes, that, that will happen. Andrew Berry is very aggressive. This is a very, very smart front office. They will be ready. And once again, you might not be able to put nine players. They have nine picks. You might not be able to put nine players on your roster this year. Uh, so a little bit of wheeling and dealing would behoove that.